There is another shakeup at Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro today as the corporation tries to cut costs. The latest move involves an executive who's been linked to the controversial Muskrat Falls project from the very beginning. Terry Roberts joins us live now from the newsroom with the details. Terry, what can you tell us? Yeah, Jeremy, well, I have uh, four words. His job was done. So that's what I was told today by a spokesperson for NL Hydro about the departure of Gilbert Bennett. Uh, Bennett was the executive vice president of power generation. In other words, he was the person in charge of completing the Muskrat Falls power station in Labrador. Well, the station was commissioned a year ago, and as a result, Bennett's services were no longer required at Hydro. Now, Bennett is not leaving empty-handed. He'll receive a severance package totaling roughly $1 million. It's a standard uh, you know, executive contract payout, two years salary of just under seven hundred grand, a retirement allowance, uh, some unused vacation time. Now, why are we singling out Bennett here this evening? Well, because of his controversial links to the Muskrat Falls project. Right now, billions over budget, years behind schedule, and Bennett was there every step of the way. He was a key deputy to uh, Nalcor CEO Ed Martin, who left under a cloud of controversy in 2016. And Martin and Bennett were central figures in the March 2020 final report of the Muskrat Falls public inquiry. In one of the most damning sections of the report, Commissioner Richard LeBlanc said Martin, Bennett, and members of the project management team frequently took unprincipled steps to help secure project approval in late 2012. Now, the, despite the findings, Ed Martin's replacement, Stan Marshall, of course, he refused to take action against Bennett, and Bennett also survived the first round of executive cuts by new CEO Jennifer Williams a year ago. So, Terry, how successful has Hydro been at cutting their costs? Well, Jeremy, Hydro has cut $19 million in operating costs since Jennifer Williams took over. How? Mainly by taking a knife to the executive ranks and slashing compensation. Now, as a result, the number of executives at Hydro is down by 50%, from 18 a year ago to 9. 